Walt Disney World in Florida is home to so many classic rides and attractions across all four of its Orlando theme parks. From relaxing boat rides and animatronic filled dark rides to the more thrilling roller coasters and drop rides. But have you ever wondered which one of the rides is actually the fastest? Well if you have you're in the right place because in this video we are going to be counting down the top 10 fastest rides in all of Walt Disney World. Number 10. Space Mountain is instantly recognisable thanks to its white spires that can be seen rising over Tomorrowland at the Magic Kingdom. Space Mountain is an indoor dual track steel roller coaster opened way back in 1975, making it the oldest operating steel coaster in the state of Florida. The coaster has two almost identical tracks named Alpha and Omega, the only difference between the two being that Omega is slightly longer, about 10 feet longer to be exact. Once you climb on board your rocket though, you'll travel through a series of lighted tunnels and lift hills until you reach the summit of this iconic roller coaster. Once the hill has been crested, you're sent on a thrilling ride through darkness that lasts about two and a half minutes and has many twists and turns that make this ride feel faster than it really is. Space Mountain only actually reaches a top speed of 28 miles an hour, making it the slowest ride on our list. But thanks to it being mostly in darkness, it's still thrilling enough to satisfy any thrill seekers. Number nine. Staying at the Magic Kingdom for number nine and heading into Fantasyland, we will find the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Now, this is a roller coaster dark ride hybrid that was opened back in 2014 to complete the new Fantasyland expansion at the Magic Kingdom, and it has been designed to be a fun for all the family coaster. The ride itself seems you climb aboard a minecart and travel through the loading station where you climb the first lift hill and on to make your way through the winding paths of the Enchanted Forest before heading into the mine itself. Here you will find the fantastic Seven Dwarfs animatronics hard at work collecting their gemstones before hearing the iconic hi-ho signaling that it's time to really get this ride underway. You then climb the second lift hill and go rushing down the largest drop on the whole ride reaching speeds of up to 34 miles an hour. Now this ride doesn't always feel as fast as it really is thanks to the way that the minecarts kind of sway from side to side it makes this an extremely smooth roller coaster the whole ride lasts around two minutes and 50 seconds with around a minute of that time being spent in the mine itself overall the ride does feel a little short given how long the waits tend to be but it's a super fun ride all the same making it one of the most popular attractions at magic kingdom number eight Continuing on now in the Magic Kingdom, we are heading over to the wildest ride in the wilderness. It is, of course, Big Thunder Mountain. Opened back in 1980, this runaway train ride takes you up three lift hills and down multiple drops, passing through the town of Tumbleweed as you twist and turn at speeds of up to 35 miles an hour on this classic Disney coaster. Now, a tip for those looking for the most thrilling experience is to ask to ride as far back in the train as possible, as this seems to offer greater acceleration on the drops and is my personal favourite way to enjoy Big Thunder Mountain. Number seven. Off to Hollywood Studios now, where we're going to find our next fastest ride on our list at the end of the palm tree lined boulevard that is Hollywood Boulevard. It is, of course, the Hollywood Tower of Terror. This was opened back in 1994 and it is a thrilling lift and drop ride that sees you enter an abandoned 1930s era hotel where you will soon board a service elevator that transports you to the fifth dimension of the Twilight Zone. From here, the elevator will wind its way through several spooky set pieces and the anticipation starts to build before you eventually enter the lift shaft you'll be then dropped and lifted up and dropped and lifted up and dropped again and lifted up again in a completely random sequence meaning that every ride is as unique as it is thrilling plus you'll actually get a great view of the park that is if you can keep your eyes open tower of terror has a top speed of 39 miles an hour number six Back to Frontierland now at the Magic Kingdom for the only water ride on our list, it is Splash Mountain. Part dark ride, part water ride, this Disney classic was opened in 1992 and has been a fan favourite ever since thanks to its combination of fun animatronics, catchy tunes and thrilling drops, the largest of which is just over 50 feet and as you're reaching speeds of up to 40 miles an hour. Now Splash Mountain is due to be replaced soon, which makes me sad by the way, by the upcoming Princess and the Frog attraction, so you better ride it now if it's on your to-do list but no matter what happens in the future i'm sure that this ride will still remain one of the fastest in all of walt disney world number five now to Toy Story Land, which can be found at the back of Disney's Hollywood Studios theme park to take a ride on Slinky Dog Dash. Slinky Dog is an exposed dual launch coaster that was bespoke made for Disney and Toy Story Land in particular. See those humps there? They're actually supposed to mimic the coils of a slinky. The ride also has many banked twists and turns that see you soaring through Andy's backyard and giving you some great views of the park surrounding you. You're then set up for the second launch, which launches you to 40 miles an hour over the camel humps. 
Slinky Dog Dash is a fantastic coaster for all the family and the long wait times tend to reflect this. So get there early or maybe a lightning lane or something like that for this one. Number four. Number four on our list can be found at Epcot and it is actually the newest attraction at Walt Disney World. Having opened as recently as May 2022, it is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Now with Guardians, you begin your adventure by touring the Galaxarium that showcases the similarities and differences between Xandar and Earth's galaxies. And just as you're reaching the end of your tour, of course, things start to go sideways and the adventure to save the galaxy really begins. Cosmic Rewind is an enclosed roller coaster based around the Guardians of the Galaxy movie and is the first attraction at Walt Disney World to feature characters from the Marvel Universe. The coaster features a reverse launch, which is actually another first for Walt Disney World, and reaches speeds of 40 miles an hour. Not to mention the fact that the coaster cars themselves are able to rotate through 360 degrees, which means you're always focused on the action right in front of you. All this, completed with an 80s themed party soundtrack, means that Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is a thrilling addition to Epcot. Number three. Animal Kingdom is home to number three on our list, Expedition Everest Legend of the Forbidden Mountain. Opened in 2006 and costing $100 million, making it the most expensive roller coaster in the world at that time, Expedition Everest can be found in the Asia section of Animal Kingdom and sees you embark on an expedition to seek out the fabled Yeti that is rumoured to dwell high in the mountain. Needless to say that things soon go awry when something has ripped up the track you're travelling on. This then sends you hurtling backwards, giving you the sensation of going upside down and then forwards over an 80 foot drop reaching speeds of 50 miles an hour. Expedition Everest never disappoints. Number two. Number two on my list is going to be Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. Giant guitar outside, check. Launch coaster in the dark inside, check. Rocking soundtrack from Aerosmith, double check. Rock and Roller Coaster sees you accelerate from zero to its top speed of 57 miles an hour in just 2.8 seconds before sending you through three inversions. Two of these are rollover loops and one's a corkscrew, by the way, if you're wondering. All in complete darkness. Well, apart from the giant neon signs and stuff. This ride is always a favourite and should not be missed if you're a serious thrill seeker at Hollywood Studios. Number one. And to finish off our list, we are going to be heading back to Epcot, where you will find not only the fastest ride on this list, but the fastest ride at any Disney theme park anywhere in the world. It is, of course, Test Track. And did you know that it's actually the longest ride at Walt Disney World 2 at 5,246 feet long? That's just 34 feet short of a mile if you're counting. Now, Test Track is sponsored by Chevrolet and sees you design your perfect vehicle before allowing you to put it through its paces on Get This their test track. See, it's not just a clever name. Once aboard your vehicle, you're subjected to a brake test sent through a range of high-speed turns narrowly and missing oncoming vehicles before the grand finale, which is a high-speed loop of the building that sees you accelerate to 65 miles an hour. It's a pretty thrilling ride, but did you know it was actually originally supposed to go even faster? Leave me a comment down below if you know how fast it was due to go if the lawmakers hadn't intervened. And after you've left your comment, you might want to check out this video next. Thanks for watching.